Hi, I'm Terry Covell. Ralph and I traveled the country for a number of years, taking pictures, being in a show called Flea Market Finds with the Covells. And now you can see it because it's out once again on DVD. We have all sorts of pictures and information about trends, fakes, inside information from dealers. And I know you're going to love it, so why don't you join us? Welcome back to Flea Market Finds with the Covells. Once again, here are Ralph and Terry. Well, now everyone's had lots of time to think about this. So, what's today's What's It? Well, I told you before I knew about it, and I'll tell you again. This is a, uh, an egg beater. An egg or, beater. Or whipped cream. Well, I'll tell you what, that's pretty close. You're better than usual. Hold that, I'll show you how it works. This is a multi-purpose tool. Now, oh, hold you it. got an egg. Well, hold you're gonna beat it. No, that's not what you're going to do. We're going to hope I can do this now. Break an egg? Break an egg. It's an egg separator. Look at that. And the white comes right through. Now, they advertise. Oh, my gosh. They advertise this is a multipurpose tool. It was an egg beater, an egg separator, a whipped cream maker, a mayonnaise maker, and it did a lot of other things, too. This would be good for those people that don't eat egg yolks. That's true. You get, I can never do this. Well, now you know how. Let me get rid of this. If you like to can your own fruits and vegetables, then you're going to love this flea market find, antique mason jars. People who collect the jars because the, they're unique. They pass down through the family. Their mother and grandmother canned with them. Now we're going to start a, a mini course in how to collect bottles. Well, so let's see, start with the, the least expensive ones you've got. Um, most the least expensive, um, what the common one that people have in a blue are the ball perfect masons. Uh, generally, we sell a set of three, the half gallon, a quart, and a pint for $8 for a set oh, of three. can't beat that. Uh, which is very reasonable. Dick told me that color can really add to a canning jar's value. For instance, this green jar from 1920 is hot with collectors because it's so rare. Both the same time period. Well, this one sells for $300 because of the color. Oh, all right. This one sells it probably for a dollar, a dollar and a half, the same time period because it's just a plain aqua color. Amber jars are also desirable. This one costs $150. Legitimate Roseville will run between $35 and $3,500. The highest price we've ever seen for Roseville was $28,000. We bought this reproduction, which was made recently in China, for only $17. That was okay because the reproduction was labeled as a copy. But you'd really be cheated if you paid Roseville prices for a reproduction. Now, it's hard to tell, but you can tell the difference. The glazing is very different. Notice that this is a solid glaze. It's, th there's no see-through to it, whereas you see the clay through the glaze on a real piece. And if you look at the bottom of the dish, you will see that the bottom of real Roseville is an oranger color than the bottom of the fakes. Yes, but you know what? The mark is the same. Since the differences are pretty subtle, be careful if you see something marked New Style Roseville. It's a reproduction. The Roseville factory in Ohio closed in 1954. We know you're going to love Flea Market Finds with the Cavells. It's so full of information and pictures. So won't you join us? You can find it at Cavells.com. And remember, Ralph always said, you only regret what you don't buy. <laughs>